Good morning. How's everybody doing? I'm just uh, here at the Biomed RX Health Center, uh, getting ready for starting the week. Is what I'm doing. Starting the week, so I'm going through my uh, going through my Monday morning routine, and uh, which involves a little bit of um, aromatherapy and some reading and. Uh, Watering the plants and cleaning the office, vacuuming the floor, cleaning up my my tables behind me, and uh, just kind of you know taking care of stuff. This is called stress away. This is aromatherapy. Okay, and uh, you can contact me. I am a distributor of Young Living um, aromatherapy oils. Let me show you how you use this. Take a little bit of stress away. Drip it in the palm of your hand. Rub it like three times and ah, that smells so good. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Love it. And it does take stress away. Anyway, I want to talk about science, okay? Science. Science, one of my favorite subjects, probably my favorite subject of all. And um, science is changing our world. And, you know, science is being used for a lot of argument. Uh, science is being ignored, you know? Um, when we look at the, uh, the weather, right? And the modification thereof, we look at the chemtrails. A lot of people don't want to talk about chemtrails, but um, I do remember when I was a child that airplanes did not blow lines of smoke and patterns across the sky. Unless, you know, they were saying, you know, will you marry me or, you know, Budweiser or, you know, there was sky writing. But the phenomenon that we call chemtrails is real. And, um, Aerial spraying, weather modification, you know, you name it. I, I, I don't really know. Um, I'm not necessarily for or against because if we do have the ability to modify the weather, that might be a good thing, you know. Um, we can't really go against science in that respect because, hmm. But I do feel that people should have the right, people do have the right to know what's being sprayed uh, over their heads. And um, I've heard all kind of, you know, words of uh, heavy metals or barium or uh, um, what was the one? Uh, manganese. Manganese is very, very, very toxic. Uh, a lot of different things in the uh, atmosphere. But, you know, and this could be leading to our heavy metal toxin burden, right? Because I enjoy bentonite clay baths on a regular basis. And I find that uh, when I take the metals out of my body that I feel a lot better. And I think that, um, you know, maybe some of those metals might be coming from uh, chemtrails. But while we're on the subject of chemtrails and the environment, right, we have to look very truthfully at you know, uh, the fact that we don't really know what's going on in our environment. Until someone is truthful about chemtrails, we can't really have an honest discussion about global warming, right? Because we don't really know what's going on with our environment. Um, until we understand what's going on in our environment, then it's kind of hard to have an intelligent conversation about it. Because if there are changes that are happening to the environment, it could have something to do with what's being sprayed over our heads. Whatever's being sprayed over our heads is being deliberate. But you know, I didn't really want to talk about that. Um, chemtrails are, are, are okay. Like I said, I, I'm not really for or against it. You know, I if it turns out to be something beneficial for the planet, um, then that's fine. But I do believe that the, the, the populace deserves the respect of knowing. Uh, since we do have to live here on the planet underneath it. And then once that information has been let out, then maybe um, we could explore some designer colors. You know, I'd like to see a purple sky one day and maybe magenta sky or green sky. You know what I mean? I mean, if we, since we're doing this, why don't we do this in a designer fashion, you know, and, and, and kind of, you know, do it with a little style, right? But science, okay, 
science. Uh, you know, we can use science for political reasons. We can doubt science or we can actually explore science. And I am very open to exploring what people call, uh, what I call twilight zone science. It seems that everything that I do, right, in healthcare or in the scientific world, um, it, has a, it has a point beyond which um, it, it's kind of it's hard for the layman to believe until they, until they see it, right? For example, um, science. Well, I turned in my DNA to Ancestry.com, okay? And, uh, oh, of course, and I traced my family roots. And uh, science is telling me that these guys, for example, are my cousins. These guys are my cousins? I got pictures of my cousins in my wallet. What? Okay, well, we're all accidents of birth. So I guess that's true, right? 22 American presidents. I'm related to 22 American presidents and a few of their wives too. I'm related to Barack and Michelle Obama and uh, the Georges and Laura Bush, um, the Kennedys and uh, I believe the... Uh, what was her name? Um, Maria Shriver's family. Anyway, uh, so yeah, science can tell us a lot of things. Science is changing the world. Science is changing the world. And uh, for example, biomagnetic paratherapy, right? With biomagnetic paratherapy, we do uh, tests called muscle testing, right? And muscle testing is done in a lot of different things. It's done, uh, it's done for the emotion code. It's not only used for uh, biomagnetic paratherapy. It's also used for the emotion code. It's used for a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things. And it has, it is, uh, it is a viable way to test um, with regard to physical health as well as emotional health. Okay, so viable means of testing. Where it goes into the twilight zone is to understand that you could use one person's body as an antenna and actually diagnose and treat someone who is somewhere else in the world. Okay, all right, that's true. <laughs> I'm not of the experience level that can do that, and I won't sit here and say that I have. Uh, I'd like to learn how to do that one day, but it's done, and to me, that's Twilight Zone. But guess what? It's real. Um, <clears throat> the Integratron, okay? George Van Tassel uh, built an, a four-story high structure and Giant Rock National Park, just about an hour east of where I am here at the Biomed RX Health Center. I, I recommend you look it up, Integratron.com. Um, it was never used as designed because three days before he was supposed to fire it up, George Van Tassel was arrested here in the Inland Empire, California, the same police that patrol here, and he died in police custody. Hmm. Anyway, the intention of the Integratron was to be a time machine and that we could witness um, Caesar's soldiers marching or the Gettysburg Address or the crucifixion of Christ. And... <clears throat> um, and and retrieve that right, retrieve that in 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 in, in history right. Traveling through time, traveling through space, the use of magnetic fields uh, is very complex. But look up George Van Tassel. Um, according to George Van Tassel, he was given the designs to the Integratron by uh, extraterrestrials. Believe it or not, okay. Once again, <clears throat> Twilight Zone science. Okay, but who am I to say? All right. Um, also, the Integratron was designed in a way so as to actually reverse the aging process for anyone who were to enter underneath. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, the Integratron is going to be closed for maintenance throughout uh, 2019, and they may be booked uh, for sound baths in 20, uh, for the rest of this year. But I do recommend taking a ride out to Giant Rock National Park um, and uh, and visiting the Integratron. Okay, Twilight Zone science. What else? Um, <clears throat> the Searle effect generator. Okay, there's a lot of buzz going on around free energy and the provision thereof. Um, a lot of talk going on around Nikola Tesla, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, 
John Searle, Professor John Searle, put together a generator made of magnets. And uh, yes, it is literally the uh, perpetual motion machine concept that uh, many people believe doesn't exist. And yes, it does kind of violate uh, Newton's uh, law of thermodynamics, which is the reason why a lot of these magnetic generators, there are seven viable working magnetic generators right now in the world, okay, seven. Uh, we are on the verge of producing zero point energy. I think Newton maybe didn't consider um, superconductivity, right? Uh, because uh, according to uh, 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 Searle, uh, <laughs> Professor Searle, the Searle effect generator, which is basically uh, rings with cylindrical shaped like little cans, cylindrical shaped magnets, and uh, they are of uh, varying Gauss, uh, which is magnetic strength, and um, particular polarities, so that when they're set up, that they are designed to run perpetually. Not only that, but uh, in the earlier days of Searle's uh, experiment, uh, the, um, the, the, the generator sped up to a speed that uh, made it get cold instead of hot, believe it or not. And uh, it brought it into the superconductivity range. And the, the generator itself actually produced anti-gravity and floated. And you can look up on YouTube. There are a number of videos um, about the thing. They're old videos that were done in London, um, British television about the thing. And there were many people in England that were out wondering, what is this disc shaped thing floating in the sky? Well, now <clears throat> there are, uh, there's a company called SEG, uh, Surly Effect Generator, SEG Magnetics, that's, that is down in San Diego, California, that's actually developing the Surly Effect Generator. So we are on the brink of developing uh, zero point, what we call zero point energy, and that's gonna change the world. Okay, <clears throat> science. Um, many people talk about uh, Nikola Tesla and his tower, right? Uh, Nikola Tesla built a tower uh, years ago, uh, funded by J.P. Morgan, with the intent of, um, to make a long story short, uh, using the capacitance of the atmosphere to transfer power, uh, free energy, to transfer energy across the world. Um, and um, Many people believe that it worked, that uh, um, they were able to power uh, televisions or radios in London uh, from the United States just by using the atmosphere. And that because it couldn't be um, metered and sold, right, uh, J.P. Morgan destroyed uh, the tower and also destroyed Tesla, destroyed his career. Well, right now in Texas, the great state of Texas, um, What's the name? Lumpoc, I believe it is. I think it's in Lumpoc, Texas. Uh, there's a company called Viziv, V-I-Z-I-V, -I -I and they are actually developing Tesla technology. They have actually built a Tesla tower, okay? So think about how this is going to change the world, that um, we will stop relying. We can finally stop relying on fossil fuels. And that's going to change the geopolitical landscape. It's going to change everything about the world that we live in. Um, it's going to be a beautiful time. It's going to change the environment. It's going to make the whole carbon emission thing a moot point because it's going to really, especially if we put these, uh, these uh, magnetic generators in automobiles, not only in our homes, but in automobiles. So um, I'm going to be exploring all of this, right? What got me into the Twilight Zone science was the Rife machine, R-I-F-E, yes. A machine that cures cancer. It's a machine that uses radiation and frequency um, that cures cancer. Now I'm, I'm partnering with a company in Canada that is actually manufacturing Rife machines one at a time. And uh, if at some point, we can mass produce rife machines, yes, machines that cure cancer. Uh, then I'd like to put the Biomed RX name on it and uh, pursue um, FDA, pursue the 510K process with the Food and Drug Administration. Um, 
So once again, Twilight Zone science. But you know, everything that we enjoy now was Twilight Zone science. I, I don't know if you guys are as old as I am and you remember Maxwell Smart, right? He used to be able to take off his shoe. He had his shoe phone and everybody thought how hilarious it was that he had a phone that was not connected by wires to anything. Hey man, I could put this inside my shoe, right? And look just like Maxwell Smart, right? But um, it just goes to show you that what starts off as science fiction eventually becomes science fact. Science is your friend, right? So we have the science of magnetism uh, as pertains to the human body. And if you've seen our videos, you understand that uh, we use uh, positive and negative poles of magnets to depolarize pH imbalances that exist in the body that make it easier for pathogens to exist or that may be the result of the presence of pathogens in the body. And when I say pathogens, I mean viri, virus, bacteria, fungus, parasites, and even heavy metal toxin burdens. And by being able to treat yourself regularly with magnets, biomagnetic paratherapy, it is very effective um, at helping dislodge the relationships between pockets of acidity where the pH is too low and pockets of alkalinity where the pH is too high and assisting the body to discharge both or all pathogens um, naturally using your, uh, uh, your defense, your natural immune system. Um, we also had things like haritake, okay? Uh, haritake, the original herb, the mother of all herbs. I highly recommend getting yourself uh, some haritake. It's very cheap. It's about, what, $15 for a kilo. You can order it. But we are going to be selling the Biomed RX brand of haritake very soon. Um, I ordered a metric ton <laughs> of, uh, of haritake. And uh, I, think, I think a metric ton is about... Um, five feet high, a pile that's five feet high uh, by 15 feet wide by 17 feet wide. So I'm going to be shoveling and it's like 224.64 gallons to a metric ton. So yes, we are going to be selling a lot of haritake on biomedrxsupplements.com. And because I am uh, obviously buying in bulk, I, um, I will be able to offer it at a very, very, very uh, reasonable price. As well, we are selling bentonite clay. We have also ordered a metric ton of bentonite clay. And uh, once again, uh, we're going to be filling the containers and uh, selling you guys gallon containers. Looks like the uh, ice cream you know, cans with a handle over it, gallon containers of bentonite clay, because if you need a little, you need a lot. And this is going to be food grade uh, bentonite clay, but food grade bentonite clay that you can also bathe in and soak your feet in. Um, we're going to be private labeling Ormus monoatomic gold. We're going to be private labeling uh, silver, uh, colloidal silver. We're going to be private label. Well, we already private label DMSO and um, CBD, right? But uh, these are the products that are coming up for Biomed RX in uh, coming for 2020. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good time winding down the year like I am. But um, here we are. Uh, looking forward to a good year. Biomed RX TV is going to be producing a lot of uh, video content. And uh, I'm going to be exploring these different aspects of science. I'm going to be exploring uh, Twilight Zone science. I'm going to take a ride out to, to the Integratron. I'm going to visit SEG Magnetics down in San Diego and interview the gentleman um, that's the president there and, and, and see what we can get, what kind of information we can get for our channel there. Um, I'm going to be uh, having my uh, friends from Canada um, come down to the Biomed RX Health 
center with a Rife machine. I'm going to be demonstrating the Rife machine. Um, we are going to be acquiring a pulse electromagnetic field generator, PEMF, uh, which sends blasts of negative ions, electrons, right into your body. Really, really energizes you, uh, recharges you, uh, helps the immune system discharge uh, everything. Um, it uh, returns your red blood cells to a negative charge so that they're repelling each other the way they're supposed to be. It's really good. It's really good for your health. Um, that's about it. That's about it today. I'm going to start. Uh, I have to hang upside down. It's time for me to do my inversion. And then, of course, once a week, I do biomagnetic paratherapy on myself. I just do a detox protocol, you know, get rid of the weekend under the kidneys and liver and everything. And uh, so I hope everybody's having a, a wonderful holiday season. Um, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas is my uh, December month greeting. So I hope um, I hope too many people aren't offended uh, at my Christianity. But Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And if, I will I will talk to you guys before then. If there are any subjects you want me to cover on Biomed RX TV or Biomed RX Radio, let me know. Oh yes, Biomed RX Radio is going to be back on the air in 2020. We are negotiating with Salem Media to try. Uh, I was on the Salem station last year, this year, out of San Bernardino, KTIE AM 590, The Answer. And hopefully I will be able to negotiate my show in Glendale, even though Glendale is not where the clinic is. Um, I will be able to reach a lot more people uh, on the air in Glendale. And hopefully I'll be able to redirect them to BiomedRx TV, BiomedRxTV.com, BiomedRxSupplements.com, and BiomedRxCBD.com. Yes. Well, it looks like my clients are coming. What time is it? 10.02. Look at that. I love punctual clients. This is great. I'll be right there. You guys have a wonderful day and uh, be healthy, be loving, be kind, be happy, and uh, have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> if I don't talk to you beforehand.